the best skirts for the five common body ties. If you have the rectangle shape, your body goes straight up and down. You don't have a natural waist definition. It's important for you to use a skirt to create the illusion of purse. The kind of skirt that can give you a shape in your bottom half will create a contrast with your top half and that's going to give you the illusion of curves. A-line skirt, fit and flare skirt, pencil skirt. Because a pencil skirt is clinging to your bottom thighs, it creates curves for you even if you don't have it. Mermaid skirt, wonderful choice for you because it changes that squarish rectangle shape of yours, give you more curves and look more feminine. You can also use a color blocking strategy. So that means you use very contrasting colors for your top and your bottom, and that's gonna create the illusion of curves. You wanna avoid any skirt that's a squarish shape because that's only gonna accentuate the fact the prior body may look like a rectangle. The hourglass! Everybody else envies your curves, but you are the only one who know the frustration that comes with dressing the curves like yours. Here's the thing, even though you want to look modest, but nothing really looks modest on you because of your curves. Alright Chi, you've had a pretty good year, but this is just one thing that we want you to work on for the next year. And that is to dress more professionally. I don't really understand it, honestly, because I've always covered up everything and how is this not professional? Look, as your manager, I'm not in a position to give you fashion advice, but don't you think everything you wear just seems a bit too revealing? A bit too distracting for your male co-workers? For that reason, as an hourglass, sometimes you feel like you need to disguise your curves, and therefore you go for something loosely fitted. But here's the thing, it's critical that you should always define your waist. Even a skinny hourglass shape come across as flashy instead of bony because of your full boobs and your full hips. When you don't define your waist, everything you wear is only going to make you look bulkier and heavier than you actually are. The number one best skirt to accentuate your shape is a pencil skirt. Highlights all your assets. Your tiny waist, your full hips, hugs your hourglass shape very nicely. The trumpet skirt. This is also called the mermaid skirt. These hug the butt and your thighs very nicely, and it also comes with ruffles. This can give women of any body shape the shape of an hourglass, but on you, this is your shape. Sometimes you may want to downplay your curves. If you don't want to draw too much attention to your curves, then you can go with a modest A-line skirt. Flatter your shape because it's still cinch your waist. Not clinging to your thighs or your butt, not gonna make your curves as noticeable. As an hourglass, it's also critical for you to avoid any skirt that has too much volume. Too many ruffles, too many pleats, too many panels, they're only gonna add too much bulkness to your bottom half. Not the best shape for you. The pear shape. You're known for narrower shoulders and wider hips and thighs, teeny waist, and you could also have killer abs. When you're choosing your skirt, it all depends on what kind of goal you're trying to achieve. If your goal is to distract from your wider hips and your thighs, then you want to create a space around them. So the best skirts for you, A-line shape skirt, flare skirt, even pleated skirts, because these are not clinging to your butt and your thighs. If you want to create a more balanced silhouette, brighter top and wear it with a darker color skirt. Your skirt doesn't have to be black as long as darker than your top, then you're drawing attention to your top half and balance out bottom heavy shape of pair. If, on the other hand, your goal is to accentuate your curves, then you do the opposite. Like the pencil skirt. These are gonna accentuate the curves on your butt and your thighs. For the pair, the length of your skirt, very important. You can wear short skirts, but you just don't want it to be so short as to end up on the widest part of your thighs. The apple shape. You know you're an apple shape if you're always struggling with your waistline. And how do I know that? Even though I am thin, I also have the apple feature. And that is, no matter how thin you are, you never have a defined waist. And even if you get one ounce of weight, it's always gonna show up on your waist and on your belly first. But here's the great news about apple. You have the best legs. 
So as an apple, skirts are your strong suit. You should be wearing skirts or dresses all the time. You should wear short skirts, above the knee skirts. Draw attention to those great legs you have. Because the apple does not have a defined waist and because you typically have a midsection concern, dark color skirts work the best for you. You want to avoid any skirt that adds too much bulkness to your bottom, such as the tiered skirts. If there's too much fabrics going on, it can also make your bottom half look heavier than it actually is. As an apple shape myself, I recently discovered skirts like this, very flattering for us because this got ruching on the tummy. And this is gonna disguise your bulging stomach and make the eye believe all that wrinkles are because of the fabric. It's not because of your bulging stomach. Another thing I noticed is a bias cut. Because the way these skirts are cut, they really reflect your natural shape. So that means if you have a stomach, it's gonna show that. So be careful with the bias cut skirt if you have an apple shape. The inverted triangle shape is known for your broad shoulders and relatively narrow hips. For you, it's important to find the skirts that add some volume to your hips and to your bottom half and therefore counterbalance your broad shoulders. The best silhouette for you, the A-line shape. A-line is a pretty broad term and there's a lot of skirts that can fall into the A-line category. For you, what works best? Fuller skirts. Flare skirts? Tulip skirts can also work very beautifully on your shape because they have that additional volume. Pleated skirts? Because of the pleats, these can add more volume to your bottom half. What to avoid is anything that's too clingy, which is only gonna accentuate your narrow hips. Because your shoulders are broader, when you wear very narrow skirts at the bottom, it's only gonna accentuate the fact that you may come across as top heavy. For the inverted triangle shape, if you want to downplay your broad shoulders, a strategy for you is to choose a brighter color skirt and pair it with a darker color top. It doesn't have to be a black top. As long as your top is darker color than your skirt, then you're drawing attention to your skirt to your bottom half, and that is gonna make your shoulders less obvious. But that said, having broad shoulders really are considered assets in the fashion industry. Look at all the catwalk models. Because of their shoulders, the walking hangers, that's what makes everything look good on them. Mm -hmm.